This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Scott versus Biznoff. You all are engaged and have been together for 10 years, but your wedding plans are on hold until you find out whether or not Mr. Biznoff is cheating. Please tell me why you've initiated this case. I am here today because I do not believe that David has been faithful. I believe that he has been lying to me, that he has been cheating, and uh, even though he says that he isn't, I believe I know that he is. We have two kids together. Um, we've been engaged since 2014. Oh, um, but I refuse to wear the ring until I know that he's being true, that what we have is real. So you are here for answers, and you feel so firmly that he's not being truthful with you that you are not even wearing your engagement ring. Right. You just have it. Where do you have it? Where do you keep it? Um, I, I don't know. It's been that long. I have to go dig it out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mr. Bisnaw, because of what she's accusing you of, she doesn't even wear her ring, doesn't even know where it is. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Being Makes accused... me feel not good at all. It's been, you know, we first met each other and uh, it was love at first sight. I, I try to prove myself time after time after time. Besides coming here, I offered to go pay for a lie detector test on my own so I could get this out of the way because it's holding our love and uh, us moving forward in our future. All right. Miss Scott, why do you think he's cheating? Well, one, when it comes to him working for a rideshare company, mm -hmm. on a regular, he'll get dressed normally, he's gonna be driving all day, he'll be comfortable, and he'll go to work, which is fine. But this particular day, he got all dressed up, fancy, blinged out to drive. Um, I was trying to reach out to him, trying to call him. He was not answering. Uh, the one time he actually picked up his phone, he's, like, all excited and hyped, like, yeah, it's lit in Saratoga. I'm so busy, I can't talk to you. I have to call you back. Wow. Um, I didn't speak to him for the rest of that night. Um, he didn't come to the house that night. So he was busy driving? Right, he was working. And what's wrong with him looking nice for his job? I mean... There's nothing wrong with it. It just seemed out of character. Is it okay if I show you when, um, when I did see him the next day? Um, I'd like to show you over here sure. on the screen. Step over to the monitor, okay. please. So I go through his phone. Finally, he comes. I ask him where he was, and he just said he was at his mom's, but I didn't believe him. So I went to his maps on his phone uh, uh -huh. to see if I could see where he was. Um, there was no history. It was no location. There was... The location was disabled. He wasn't there. So he told you where he was, but you didn't believe him? No. Because it's been disabled. Right. And one, why is it disabled? Uh -huh. And two, so I further investigated. He was working. So I went to the, the Drive app, and I went to go see how much money he made, the rides in Saratoga, you know, and there was zero dollars and zero And that was the day he said he was working all day, right? Yeah. There were no trips. There was no money made that day. So that's another thing that was like, what's that about? No money, no trips, no time online, no yeah. toll, no nothing. Zero, 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 zero. Yes. And this is the same day, Mr. Cutler, mm -hmm. that he was dressed and blinged out. Mm-hmm. But, and oh. he never All went right. to work. Can I explain what happened Yeah, that day? please, Mr. Bisbrough. All right. So that particular day, we got into a heated argument. And it came to a point where she started putting some of my clothes in the bag. So I said I was gonna leave, because our arguments always get heated. Why do you have zero and you told her you were working? That's what I want to know. She, she kept calling me, calling me, calling me after you just told me to leave the house and don't come back. So instead of coming back or answer the phone and make more problems, I told her I was actually working, that I'm in Saratoga, because there's time that she just showed up out of nowhere at where I'm at. And I didn't want no confrontation. And that's why I have doubt and trust but, issues and concerns. It, this doesn't make any sense. She put you out. It's not the yeah, first time. Uh, well, and I... Probably not. <laughs> but she puts you out. Yes. And you say, I'm at work, so why lie? Well, if she's I, so, that good, you might as well just... To avoid a heated argument, because that day that argument was heated, and we, it was all about I'm being accused of cheating once again. Ah. So this I, is like a nonstop, every day, every week thing for me. She doesn't understand how much she means to me. She was like... The first woman, because my last ex... Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you get ready to drag me down a rabbit hole I'm not really interested in. Because well, what you another. told me doesn't make sense. So, 
What else do you believe is true? Well, I have another one. We're sitting in the dining room um, in the house, phone's ringing. He's not answering the phone. Um, that's not like him. He would easily normally answer. Um, so I get curious. I'm like, so why are you not answering your phone? Oh, it's just my family member. And I'm like, okay. And, um, but it was like several phone calls. So From I... From that family member? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So can you it... see the name on the phone? Yes, I okay. can. Okay. And is, it, is that a family member's name? Yes, it is. Okay. But when I'm... I go to call the number back, um, lo and behold, there's a female on the other end. And it is not his family member. Okay, and that was my next member, question. The family member was a male. It was a male's number. But then when I pick up on the other end, it's a female. Naturally, I'm like, well, who are you? And she's like, happened. well, he reached out to me. He was trying to get in contact with me. Um, they were talking about they were supposed to meet up um, in New York City, but that never happened. Not, all those plans were through. She said she was married. She had a husband. She's telling you all this? Yeah, but it doesn't make sense was when I look through the call log and I see that they've spoke several times, even sometimes at length, um, if she's Hello, married and has a up. husband, why are you guys chit-chatting? What possibly could you be talking about? What did you say to him? Um, well, he said it was from before when we were split up. But we, it, we're, we're together, and she's, it's recent phone calls, so it can't no, be when you were... No, that's not true. Okay. Right, so, Mr. Bisnoff, All right, so... let's, take, let's take this in chunks. I want to stay right here All with... Right. You had a phone number saved in your phone yep. uh, with a male family member's name, yes. but the number of a woman who's not a family member. That is correct. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Who is this woman to you? Right, and what so kind of relationship did you have with her? This girl's a friend from a while back when I, in my childhood. So what happened, at the time we were separated, I had put something on social media that I can't believe I'm being accused of cheating every day in my life, blah, blah, blah. So she actually gave me her phone number on social media, and I called her. I haven't seen her in over 20-something years, haven't heard from her. She Mr. She... Bisnoff, you're taking me the long way. Why did you put it in your phone under the name of a family member? Right, Male so family member. At the time, we were separated, and I didn't want her to know and that I was talking with her. Okay, thank but you. I did talk that to her. That was the short answer. You yes. were talking to her, yeah. you didn't want and her to know, right? And she tried to convince me to come down to New York City, visit her, oh. but I never did. So why else do you think he's cheating? While putting away the laundry, I came across a shirt that had another female's name on it. And I'm asking him, whose shirt is this? Where did this shirt come from? Because you didn't recognize it. No. It wasn't your shirt. No. And this is in with his laundry. Yes. <laughs> OK. So, right, so she confronts you about it. And what yes. do you say? So what happened was, my family member went and did laundry. So as she's putting the clothes away, she comes across the shirt and right off the rip starts saying, oh, this is the girl you're messing with. This is the girl you're... Whose shirt was it? I don't know. All right, so you're saying a family member messed yeah. up, put somebody else's shirt in your laundry and it happened. got mixed the, up? The shirt has nothing to do with me. All right, that's, that's one story. So, Ms. Scott, let me ask you this. If you find out he is cheating, what does that mean for your relationship? I'm upset. It's not fair, and, you know, I shouldn't have to go through this because this has been going on too long. It's been a lot of back and forth. It's been, no, I didn't, yes, you did, uh, no, I didn't, yes, I did, and I just need a uh, answer today. You have a <laughs> decade into this relationship. Yes. That's a long time. That's a long time. Mr. Bisnoff. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, your relationship is at stake. Yes, it is. Because she says she can't continue this way. She has to be able to trust you 24-7. I, I totally understand, and... I want her to know that I love her and I've never cheated on her. And I don't have nothing to hide. So, like, at the end of this whole thing, when it comes out that I am telling the truth the whole time, it's like, I don't know what to do with the pain now that I've suffered all these years of everyday accusations and all this cheating. So you're saying you're in pain with all these accusations? Yeah. Yep. All right. So you need the pain to stop. You yes. need the accusations to stop. Especially the point when she was first pregnant with my first son. She offered just to have my kid. It was like... I don't know. It just changed everything. My perspective at life and everything. And All for right. her to think that, after I explained to her how much everything meant to me, it still hurts up to this point. Well... well you came here to get some answers, and we're going to help you find those answers. Mm -hmm. This court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call certified cyber expert Gus Dimitrellis and certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> 
round of applause for the gentleman in. Gentlemen. Got two. Good day, gentlemen. How are you all? It's Ron, Your Honor. How are hey, you? Your Honor. It's good to see you. You too. Mr. Dimitrellis, would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I am a certified cyber expert and retired Secret Service agent serving under two presidential administrations in the area of technical security and electronic crimes. Now, tell us what you did to investigate this case. I conducted a thorough forensic examination on Mr. Biznas's cell phone. The examination recovers pictures, videos, chats, internet history, even if they're deleted. In this case, I was specifically asked to look for any evidence of cheating by Mr. Bizdoth. So did you find any communication related to cheating? I did, Your Honor. Oh. What, what did you find? Mr. Bizdoth was communicating with unknown women using Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, texting apps, which we call burner apps. Was there anything that you found that was of interest? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me about that. Mr. Bizoth was receiving graphic pictures from women, usually by his request. Okay. And specifically on his phone, I located four pictures of the same woman. Oh. A scantily clad blonde woman. She'll tell you where they came from. It has nothing to do with me. She'll go on like dating websites and I buy have done that. I and have... try to talk to people. No. She'll go on my Facebook. And it's funny he brought that up because we anything, were just talking that about one this. It was me investigating, um, going through his phone. I searched the number that kept calling that he was calling, and it came up to that female. And it was and this an is... escort service, and then um, it was her pictures for her profile. So it was so... the same blonde yes. woman four times. And I got okay, wait, 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 wait. Right. Hold on. For Before me? you tell me what the problem okay. is, I got a question. All right. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Have you contacted an escort service? No. Oh, that number, one of my family member in our household had this number. So after 90 days, the number changed. Once she accused me of saying that was an escort service, I called the number, and it's a 12-year-old kid on the other line. And he said he only had the number for a week. So I was explaining to her that this number was being recycled all the time. The information he has is right. I have no li nothing to lie about. Okay. So, but you but, still maintain you're not yeah, cheated. I'm not a cheater. All right. Well, this court did a further investigation, <clears throat> and Mr. Lawrence, you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Biznoth. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. Mr. Lawrence, you asked Mr. Biznoth, during your relationship with Ms. Scott, other than when you were on a break, did you have sexual intercourse with any woman other than Ms. Scott? What was his response to that question? He said, no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. <laughs> Ms. Scott, you're yes. standing there, the tears running down your face. What do those tears represent? Part of me wanted to believe... Yeah, we need to take that back over. ...that I was wrong. I'm done. Get Don't be done here. now. Don't give up now. Oh, that's crap. Straight up. Ron, can you check and see if Mr. Biznoth will come back? Yes, Sean. So, I'm just disappointed. Because there was a flicker of hope. Just yeah. a flicker of hope that what you had been feeling and experiencing wasn't true. Right. That he wouldn't do that. Right. All right, I would like to say something. I want to apologize for walking out, but I would like to take that test over right now again, because that is impossible. I've never, ever been with any other woman or talked to anyone as she was telling you. I've never done it. I'm willing to take that test right now, right here. And, and when we were doing the test, he kept telling me that I'm controlling my breathing. Like, I breathe heavy. Oh, is that true? Did, was there a conversation about his deep breathing? We had that conversation several times, Your Honor. Control breathing is considered one of the countermeasures of polygraph. And what is a countermeasure? When somebody's trying to purposely distort the charts. He probably Googled it and figured out what he could do. To what and he so, you you when you phone, told him not to that? do that, you were trying to make sure that he, wa he wasn't um, interfering with the results of the polygraph. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> no, I don't, <laughs> even, I don't even have... I'm done. Thank you. I'm gonna catch my flight and go home. Grow up. 
You all have been together for 24 years. You're married. You have six children together. And I understand, Mr. Moore, you have recently moved out, and you all are now living apart. Is that right, Ms. Moore? That's correct. You've opened this case. Tell me what's at stake here. Your Honor, just everything we put together, all the years we've been together, you know, I, he's cheated on the in the past, and we've gotten over that. You know, we built a life together with our children. So, are you saying that if you find out Mr. Moore is cheating, you're done? You you're gonna throw away your marriage, your <clears throat> everything you built over the 24 years you've been together? I think it's time for me to start thinking about myself. So you're gonna put you first if this happens. Yeah. Okay. I think it's time to start thinking about me. All right. And how does it feel? I mean, I, I, that's a long time. I mean, we've been together 37 years, but at the 24-year mark, that's a long time. So how does it is feel it... knowing that this is potentially in jeopardy? It's not very good. It doesn't feel very good. But, you know, when you have to deal with seeing things that, you know, are happening, like he doesn't come home, and then pretty soon he doesn't come home for days at a time, and then... You know, and the next thing you know, you know, you find glitter on his face and glitter on his thighs. You start to say, you okay, start, enough. Yeah, there's a time when you gotta say enough is enough. Well, Mr. Moore, you know, oh, she says little... you cheated in the past and she feels that, you know, it's coming back again. She's seeing it again. What do you have to say in response to that? Are you cheating? No, I'm not cheating. But it... Go How ahead, does it make you feel to be accused of cheating? It, it made me feel like I ain't nothing, you know? Why did you move out? Because every time that I come from work and she kills me in the, anything, you know, and, and I, I'm tired of getting, being home and, and be tacky on it, you know. So you, when you come home from a hard day's work, you feel like you just get attacked. Yeah. And being accused, and you're like, I need some peace. Yeah. So you have moved out of the home because of that. Yeah, I moved out of the home because we got our children, and our children told us, you guys don't even be together, so... And, you know, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of, you know, be coming home tired. I just want to take a shower and relax. You know, when you're married, I believe it, when you're married with somebody, I believe it, trust. I agree that you should you know, have trust. And, and, and when I told her that I, you know, I don't know where it comes from, she should have trust me. That you don't but trust me, you don't believe me. But because you've given me reason not oh. to trust in the past. All right. Now, Miss Moore, you said you found glitter on his, on his face? On his face and on his thigh. Oh, face and thigh. Okay, how did that happen? He came home. He was getting ready for bed. I noticed on his face, you know, there's a little sparkle going on his face. As he was getting into bed, I said, what's on your thigh? You got glitter on your thigh, too. So, Mr. Moore, where did this well, glitter come I, from? I really don't know where it come from. I know they ain't coming from no woman because I ain't been with no woman. But I do know that I deal with a lot of trash. Uh-huh. Because I'm working on Nesty's house. I already show you the picture. Yeah, I, I'm I, I work with Nesty's house, and I, I wish I would have taken a picture of the house where there's glitters all over the floor. And when I blow that with my blow, it, it, it'll, you know, out of the window, it'll get in my clothes, it'll get it on me. You know? Okay, but you know what, I, 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 Mr. And Moore... I, and I'm coming from me hugging on a woman and all that stuff because I don't got time for this. Okay, but Mr. Moore, look, I'm a craft girl. I make, I love to work with craft, glitter, all of that. It gets, it only gets where it touches. I've never found glitter under my clothes. Maybe Damn. we had to use the bathroom. It was on his hands. He used the bathroom while he was working, and yes. you know that's possible. That's true. Well, now that's a good argument, Mr. Cutler. Yeah. Do you have that's... any other facts that support that Mr. Moore is cheating? I went to go help out a friend who was getting into some trouble, and she handed me her phone so I could make a phone call to a family member for her. Okay. And I look at the phone, and there's text messages between this person and my husband. What? And I open it up, and there's text messages talking about, oh, I want to take you out when I get some money from him to her. Mr. Moore. Okay. Why are you texting this other woman about what you're gonna give to her? Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. Text it out to her. But before I did that, she forgot that she was using my phone texting my friend to come and see him. And my friend would text her, and come and see me. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell that. And I. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on, Mr. Mr. Moore. Hold on. 
where would so you been? admit sending the text to her yeah, friend? Yeah, I did it, sending the text, because, you know, uh, Chu can play the same game. She did it before I did. You're saying that you text her friend just to get back at your wife? Yeah, because they were trying... She was made it with my friend behind my back, too. So, so you're deflecting. And, you and know she, what you're... The only reason I knew that because the text message was on my phone that she forgot to erase it. No. Have you ever had sex with this nope, woman? Never. Have you taken her on a date? Nope. It says you want to take her out. Well, I did it say that I, I, I want to take you out, but we never did it. We never. I never did take her out. Did you see text messages that were? A bunch of text messages over a period of time? Yeah, there were several text messages. They had been texting for a while. And the person that he's talking about saying that I text that person or that I was trying to... That person was long gone by this time. OK, so these text messages that you saw from him to your friend said, I want to take you out. What, what else did they yeah, say? Yeah, I love you. Sam, I love you back. And at the end of it, she made sure to put on there, make sure you delete these messages. <laughs> Mr. Okay. Moore, Mr. Moore, Mr. Moore. Okay, you're texting this woman all these messages. I love you. I want to be with you. I want to take you out. And then she tells you, she's responding, and then tells you, make sure you delete all these. That has all the signs of something wrong. Well, well hold on now. Uh, you know, because I believe in what's the evidence? The evidence is the text messages. It's between, it's the word to word. You know, she can say whatever she want to say. I can say whatever I want to say, too. You know what I mean? But I never told no woman that I love beside her. Here's the thing. All of these kind... I don't have that definitive piece that makes me go, OK, I get it. Something doesn't smell right. I mean, that's... Is something going... I mean... Do, do you have any other reason to believe that he's cheated? Well, yeah, he came home one night when, you know, after we had gotten into bed, we were getting ready to get romantic, and I'm down to do some oral, and I smell perfume. You smell perfume? Yeah. So... Uh, not your perfume? Not my perfume, no. And it certainly wasn't his perfume. This was definitely not a manly scent. Smelled like flowers. Something didn't smell right, did it? <laughs> That's what See? I'm saying. It didn't smell right at all. Yeah. The only reason she said that because she forgot what I look like or what I smell like because we ain't been together for like three months. We ain't had no, no sex. Do you normally well, yes, smell like did. flowers? Oh, no. I always, I always <laughs> use... Four years. I always use my deodo. Every time that I take a shower and I'm gonna be with her, I use my deodo and I put it all around me every time. So she might but smell that, but she probably forgot what I smell like. Mr. Morta, I mean, after 24 years, you think she forgot what you smell like? Y'all been... <laughs> you, you been together for 24 years. But... Well, and moreover, Cutler, it smell also... like flowers. I don't... I don't... That's just not a thing. Um, that don't burn? I mean, I would think it that... Not... It don't burn. It don't burn. I gotta ask uh... you, Ron. Have you heard of using your roll-on in your private area? Is that, is that a new one for I you? worked in the jail for 12 years and never seen anybody do that. <laughs> OK. <laughs> all right, it's just not me. No. OK, all right. It was a cover-up. How, how do you feel about the fact that Mr. Moore has moved out the house, got his own place, because of your accusations? You know, I don't think it's because of my accusations. I think he moved out to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Because you were saying that before now, he's been coming in later and later mm -hmm. and later. Now he ain't got to worry about when he come in, does he? Right, right. So now he, he don't have to worry about coming home. He don't have to worry about who's coming home to, to his yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. You know, his, his friend that he says goes around with all kinds of women. He don't have to worry about them coming around, you know, being at his house. Mr. Moore, do you have this apartment so that you can do what you want to do with other women? Oh, man. The only reason I moved out of my house because... Who want to live with a person that call you F word, B words, you know, call you useless. All I do is work, you know, I work seven days a week. A but who want to be with a person that they own you all the time? Okay. You know, I, I think we've heard enough. Think... Let me tell you what we got. The text from Mr. Moore and Miss Morris phone. And then the killer being, delete. Please delete these. 
The other is his private area smell like flowery perfume, and she thinks it's either another woman's been there or he's covered up from another woman. And we got and, the glitter. And we've got the glitter on his face and his thighs, and he's moved out. And for all these reasons, Mr. and Mrs. Moore's 24-year marriage is at stake. She's like, I, I gotta look out for me. I can't continue to do this. Well, to sort all of this out, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call licensed polygraph examiner Kendall Shull to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort Mr. Shull in. Kendall Shull. Good day, Mr. Shull. How are you? Great, Your Honor. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. It is good to see you. Good to see you. You conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Moore. I did. You asked Mr. Moore, since you've been married, have you had sexual intercourse with the woman you were texting and whose phone your wife had in her possession? What was his response to that question? He said, no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. There's a little smile from Ms. Moore. You also asked Mr. Moore, the day your wife claimed your penis smelled like women's perfume, did you have sexual intercourse with someone other than your wife? Mrs. Moore, what was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. <laughs> All right. You finally asked Mr. Moore, since you've been married, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife, Mrs. Moore? <laughs> what was his response? Your Honor, on this question... Your Honor, on this question, he said yes and confessed. <laughs> All right, Mr. Moore. Uh, it's happened yeah. not too long ago before we came to the court. All right, so here's the thing. How did... Have you had this sexual encounter since you moved out of the house? No, it's after I moved out of the house. After we you moved out of the house? Together. We was not together. So after you moved out, since you moved out of the house, you've had sex with another woman? Yeah, after I moved We're out of the house. We're still married. Yeah. yeah. You're still We're married, still Mr. Married. Moore. Just because you are physically separated, trying to figure out what to do with your man. marriage, that's not a free reign to go out and just, you know, have a bachelor well, pad, have a you party. Know, you know what? If they want to shoot me for that, it's okay. Things happen. I had a few drinks with this woman, and it happened. Oh, I know I was yeah. truthful to her for too many years, and I worked hard for her, and I give her hard, everything that she wanted. And she didn't appreciate it. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. Moore, do you not want to be married to Mrs. Moore anymore? Are no you more. done? I'm done. Oh, you want a divorce? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, I can't live it like this no more. You know, I know I'm not the perfect man in the world, but I just want to be living my life in peace. This is a 24-year relationship. I know. You're married. You got six kids. And you're throwing all that away? It's because my kids are not little anymore. This is the time for me and her to have fun and live a life. But it, it's not working that way. The thing is, when me and her have sex or whatever, sex, she's over here on the phone and the internet, and, and she don't pay attention to what I'm doing or what we're doing. We started doing something, and then she go, oh, hold on, wait a minute, you know, my show's on, my show's on. What kind of thing is that? You know what I mean? She made me feel like she... I ain't nothing no more. Do you still want to be married to him? Of course I want to be married to him. That's like my right arm, you know? And he says he doesn't want to be married, but yet anytime there's an issue or there's a problem, he comes running back home. The look on his face and the determination with which he said, I want a divorce and I want mm -hmm. peace, tells me that you all are probably done. And so, you know, maybe that's what you all need to do. Maybe y'all need a true, real break. Not only like a break to think about it, but a break to do you. Maybe you'll figure out, golly, we should have done this sooner. Or maybe you'll figure out, 
oh, my God, I had the right person. Let me go back to him. But what I do know is at this moment, y'all are done because he's done. Yeah. And as sad as that is, it's better to figure it out and get on with your life. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that he slept with somebody else, I'm dying with that. <laughs>